On Wednesday, March Maction officially went mad. The women's basketball quarterfinals in Cleveland, top seeded Central Michigan opened up the day being upset. Then the fourth seed Northern Illinois overcomes a 22 point deficit to advance past Ohio. And then the number two seed Ball State Cardinals fall 69-65, the final score against the seventh seeded Buffalo Bulls. Seems to be what a Ball State uniform does to people this year. Um, we have gotten a lot of these performances from people we played that have kind of played above and beyond. Um, but, you know, it's, it's tournament time, you know, and that's what teams do. They step up and, I mean, you see it across the country. I think, who was it? Uh, was it UW-Milwaukee's men that had won like nine games all year and they were in the championship of their league? I mean, clearly they stepped up. I mean, it's just what teams do this time of year. The Cardinals led in the game for a little over a minute, tied four times in the second half but just could never get over that hump. First team All-Mac performer Renee Bennett held to just two of nine shooting. She finished with eight points, couple of rebounds, did have four blocks, but also limited because of four fouls. However, Mariah Monaco and Carmen Grande tried to will Ball State to a victory late. Monaco hits seven three-pointers. She finishes with 27 points, and then Carmen Grande did Carmen Grande think. She had 10 assists. I mean, their defense was great. Uh... My teammates set screens to get me open, which really helps. Um, but I mean, they it's not like they weren't there. I mean, my shots were just going in today, so. You know, and, and I told her walking in here, I, I thought she did everything she could do um, to, to try to get that win for us today. And um, at times almost put us on her back. And, um, you know, it's a shame the all Mac team's only five people because um, you saw one of the best out there, the way she played and uh, looking forward to um, what's ahead of her too um, because she she is that good and you know she's got such a high release um, it's hard to guard even when you're on her and uh, you know I think clearly Buffalo knew who she was uh, and and they they were on her a lot um, she's just you know she's a big guard um, that can score it in a lot of different ways and uh, when she's hitting shots like that uh, she's a handful Two critical statistics for the Cardinals in every game this season, rebounding and points in the paint, and Buffalo able to get its due in both areas. The Bulls win the rebounding battle by 11 with 17 offensive rebounds and then won the points in the paint, 38-30. I thought rebounding really decided the game, uh, points in the paint decided the game. We knew that going in, and um, they won those two categories, and, and they're moving on. And, and uh, we're going home, so um, no pun intended, just not in the cards today. With the losses by Ball State and Central Michigan, it's now back-to-back -back years. Top seeds have been bounced in the quarters of this tournament. Last year in the quarterfinals, seeds one, three, and four all going down. This year already, seeds one and two with the three seed, Kent State, just playing right now behind us. It begs the question, how much better is the MAC getting as a league? And is this still a one-bid conference? Both coaches don't really seem to think so amazed that we're still a one team NCAA bid and we've not gotten more than one team in. I'm so, every game we play, it's a tough, tough night. If you're not looking at our league for what it is, then you're not doing your jobs. And they tried to cut me off. Oh, no, 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 it's good. I said, no, listen to me. I said, we have the same amount of top 100 teams that the Big East, that the American Athletic, we only have one less than the Big 12. Top 100. So don't tell me that coming through this league, you're not getting quality wins, you're not playing good. I mean, are you kidding me right now? There's some of those teams in those leagues I just mentioned, they'd be a bottom half team in, in this league. But the committee needs to see that. They need to quit going off history. They need to keep going, well, the MAC is just a one big league. No, it's not. No, it's not. Well, an NCAA berth off the table for the Cardinals with their defeat on Wednesday, but their season not quite over. They've been in the WNIT each of the last four seasons. Cardinals will find out their fate in that postseason tournament coming up late on Monday night. In the meantime, we stay here in Cleveland because Ball State's men take on Western Michigan in the 4-5 matchup of that tournament's quarterfinals. That comes your way Thursday afternoon. In the meantime, from here at Quicken Loans Arena, I'm Joel Godet for Ball State All Access and BallStateSports.com.